the outdoors has been a place of empowerment, a place of respite, but like also a place of healing. And I think by having a more diverse menu, it gives you a sense of belonging. And so that's what I aspire to do with others. No, we just finished cooking and we were like, all four of us in this two percent for hours. Once my girlfriends and I decided to make backpacking a part of our lives, I think from the beginning it was hard to pick the meals to bring. And one of my girlfriends said, the only thing that's missing is having Latin backpacking food. And that reminds me of my culture and where I come from. That's the missing link. Kind of like jumping and yeah. scaring the bear. Oh. And then Patty and Maggie like just like froze. They were just yeah. like. <laughs> it wasn't like right away, like, oh, backpacking food. Because when I quit my job, I was at a crossroads. I was in such a low place. And I thought like, okay, I can go and look for another similar job or I can do this thing that feels right and that feels magical. And let me see how far I can take it without anybody stopping me. And I've gotten like so far, like we're packaging today, like <laughs> that's nuts. Food for me is love. Food has just been so central. It's a connection to culture. And I see a lot of folks like maybe lose the language, but they don't lose the food. I came to the US when I was 10 years old. My earliest memories are of like a pressure cooker going off. Oh yeah, see these like, they should be flexible. I don't know, I just grew up with like my grandma and my mom like, cooking dry chilies a lot and like choking out the whole house, you know. That's how you know dinner's almost ready. And as an immigrant myself, that's, I think, something that I'm able to have in my day-to-day -day life that reminds me of my culture and where I come from. And it just brings me so much joy to be able to share that with others too. These were a couple oh, yeah. of other... I really like that initially. That ultimately, we landed here. Itacate comes from the Nahuatl Itacatl, which means food for a journey. And in central Mexico, Itacate is also a word that's very commonly used for when you go to a family gathering or like any gathering and you're given a bundle of food to take with you. That's an Itacate. It's very literal in a way. The bags are itacates. To me, it represents love. I made this thinking of you, and I want you to take a piece of it. For me, it takes a little bit for things to sink in, and I think, like, just to have something tangible, that just, like, blew my mind. At a foundational level, I want Itacate to diversify the menu. We like a little frog. There are not that many people of color who are founders in the outdoor industry. So they might have a blind spot on the industry side because that's not a pain point that they might experience. I wonder if that's where we're camping. I feel a huge sense of responsibility to highlight our culture and do the brand justice. <laughs> I'll feel a little nervous for them to try it for the first time, like, all together. No, we don't know. We don't know the lyrics, right? Yeah, I'm excited to, like, kind of bring it full circle, right? Of, like, okay, now we can have it all. Oh, yeah. Which it is. Oh, it's really good. And then when you have to wait for Woo, 
¡Aprovechen! A ver, provecho. Ay, provecho. Provecho. This tastes like your real thing. Mm. Bad. This tastes like what you make at home. I think it's like, a pride. Yeah? Yeah. Aww, and you and Mexican cuisine and us. Quiero llorar. Quiero llorar. Quiero llorar. I just kind of feel like we literally packed like my mom's food with us. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of like makes me feel at home. I feel like... But like, it's also making me good. <laughs> <laughs> it's also making you cry. <laughs> Itacate is like the best version of me. That word, to me, is full of so much emotion and so much culture. And to have other folks say that word back to me, it gives me pride. And I think in this country for so long, people have been discriminated because of their culture and because of their language. And to put it out there, like, in your face, that's so powerful.